Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to set up a Power Automate Cloudflow for when a task in Planner is completed and it will only run if the Planner task title is a certain title. So we have this Planner task here, which is called Daily Report. And when we mark this as complete, this flow will get triggered because within the trigger, there's a condition set that will check for the title of that planner task, and then it will run the flow. So in this way, we don't have to set up any additional conditions after the trigger that will check, and it will only run the flow when that title is met. So in order to do that, when you set your trigger action, you need to go to the settings tab. And down here, you have this trigger conditions option. And if we click add, we can write in our trigger condition. So our trigger condition is going to be the following text. And I already have it written out here, so I'm just going to paste it in here. But you can see the trigger condition needs to start with an at symbol and then equals trigger outputs and then the name of your trigger here in single quotes. And I'll put this expression in the description of the video below so you can have that. So now that we've done that, I'll make sure that that got added before I close it completely. The rest of the my flow is just going to get the user profile. So I'm going to save this and test it. And I'm going to back out and go over here. And then I'm going to mark this task as complete. And we're going to go back into our automate. And all we need to do is refresh down here. Okay. So our flow ran successfully. Let's click into it. And we can see that it ran checking the trigger and then it got the user profile. And I just simply composed the name of the assigned to person and which we can see right here. And then it's a for each because there can be multiple people running on um, or multiple people that the task was assigned to. So if we toggle this way, then we can see that the other person name of the other person here that was assigned to. Now let's look at another way to trigger this flow. And that would be triggering it based on who the task is assigned to. So we have a particular person in mind that we want it to be, that we want the flow to run only if it's, if it's assigned, the task is assigned to that person. So in this case, I removed the second person and it's just going to be, it's only going to run if it's assigned to this particular person here. So we go um, into the flow that we just ran, the run history. And we need to get the specific user ID of that person. So this would be the person here, the, the first person, which is this training operations person. So if we look at the user profile here, and then we look in the outputs and we go down to the ID, we can see the, that the ID is this one right here that person. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that ID and I will just paste it into notepad over on the side here. So I've done that. Now I'm going to go into edit and I'm going to edit my trigger. So I'm going to do settings and then I'm going to just remove this one here and then I'm going to add a new trigger and that trigger I have saved over on the side here. So I'm going to paste that in here and, and it's the one that, and, and I have this, um, expression saved in the description below. So you can take a look at it there. And then I will go back to notepad and I will copy the user ID that I pasted in, in, in there. And it's going to go right at the end of that expression in the, in between the single quotes. So now that I've done that, I'm going to save. And once it's saved, 
I will go over here and I will mark this task as complete and I'll go back here and I will refresh. Our flow has run successfully. So let's go into the flow. And we can see that one user profile was obtained, of course, and that person is the person that the task was assigned to. So that's going to do it for this video. I hope that you guys found this useful. And as always, I will see you in that next video. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.